Yo, what's up? How's it going, everyone? So, this is going to be... I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. I'm going to try and keep it as brief as possible. But there are a fair few things to talk about really quick. Um, so, this is pretty much going to be kind of sort of an update video. But also like a uh, plan from here on video. Uh, this is mainly going to concern my Twitch streams for the most part. Um, I'm going to do another video talking about stuff that I want to do on this channel for... Uh, well, on this YouTube channel, so videos in general. Uh, but I have a lot of what I want to do kind of figured out right now. So why not just talk about it? So, uh, really quick before I get to my stuff, I want to plug my friend Laura and her stream. She's going to be doing uh, a stream this Friday, uh, March 5th, I believe. Um, it's a charity stream raising money for the American Cancer Society. Um, to honor her dad, there should be on-screen banners popping up with like um, dates and information as well as um, incentives for uh, donating as well as uh, milestones. Um, so you can check that out, you can pause the video, see what's going on there um, for each bit. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be like on stream myself except for maybe in voice chat. Um, but I'm definitely going to at least uh, raid her stream once I'm done with my stream on Friday. Because uh, she's doing this on Friday. I stream every Friday guaranteed. So you can check out uh, my channel uh, when we get there. And I'll be raiding her um, to, to support her. I'll probably also donate it a bit myself. I suggest that if you guys can donate without, you know, putting yourself into financial difficulty. Uh, I highly recommend doing so. It's for a good cause. Um, again, more information was on the screen, so check it out. It is this Friday, March 5th, once again. Um, yeah, so. Um, but if I heard, let's talk about me now. Uh, no, it's, it's a good cause. I wanted to plug that first because I want to make sure that everyone sees that. Um, but as for stuff that I want to do, I know it's all about me, isn't it? Um, so, I am planning on doing a series of streams, not, clearly not this week, it's midweek by the time this video goes up. Um, not next week, not the week of, let me pull up a calendar and see what that week is. Not the 8th through, thir through 14th. Um, I can't do it that week because my younger sister's birthday is on the 12th. Um, but the following week, the 15th through the 21st of March, I will be doing a series of streams myself, uh, trying to raise money for a variety of things, um, so that way I can do what I want to do on stream. Uh, so what are those things? Well, the, first, the biggest thing that I want to pick up is a 3DS capture card. Uh, this is something that I've wanted for a while and they're currently available. Um, I just do not currently have the funds for it myself, I don't have a job. Uh, the closest thing to any sort of way I'm making money right now is Twitch. Um, but that's not the most financially stable for me because I'm not a massive streamer at the moment. Um, if I ever become one, it's going to be a good while. But um, yeah, so I went to stream 3DS games, uh, especially so that, so that way I can get started with um, probably the big thing I would be doing on my channel for a good long while. Playing a lot of Pokemon stuff. Ignore that, that's just my phone. Um, there are a variety of Pokemon thing, Pokemon related things I want to do, but the biggest thing that's probably going to take probably the longest is something called the Pokemon Generations Challenge that a friend and I have come up with. My phone, can you please stop? Let me mute my phone real quick. Oh, there we go. Um, <laughs> professional video, let's go. Uh, yes, the Pokemon Generations Challenge, the general premise of it is you play through two Pokemon games of each generation ideally um, the two games of the main set or two games from the main set so like for generation one you'd play Pokemon red or blue and Pokemon yellow for generation two would be Pokemon gold or silver and a crystal uh, but and remakes like there's a bunch of rules where I might there's probably gonna be a link to a document explaining the rules of uh, what's going on with the Pokemon Generation Challenge, so you guys can get an idea of what's going on with it. Uh, so I don't have to sit down and explain 
the premise on your video, there's going to be a link to a document down below. Check it out. Uh, it's worth reading if you're interested in that kind of stuff. I'm definitely interested in it. Um, I'm a huge Pokemon fan. Not sure if you guys know this, but I am. Um, and the way I would be going about doing this would be... Um, not only would I be doing like each main series game. So, I, I would probably be doing Red and, red and Yellow, Gold and Crystal, um, Ruby and Emerald on top of Fire Red. Um, Diamond and Platinum on top of, um, Soul Silver. Uh, Black, Black 2. Um, X and Omega Ruby. Uh, Gen 7, that'd be probably Sun and Ultra Sun. And then for Generation 8, Generation 8 is going to be the, like, going to have the most games because there's going to be a Pokemon Sword, um, the Generation 4 remake, so probably um, Shining Pearl, as well as Pokemon Legends Arcus. Because by the time I, I get to Generation 8, uh, the new Pokemon games will probably be out by then, so I'm super excited for that. Uh, but yeah, so there's probably going to be all the games I play on stream for the Generations Challenge. But that's just like the first bit. Like, uh, I'm not going to be playing through the games like barreting through them one after another. I'll be taking a break in between each game. So after I finish Pokemon Red, I'll probably play a different game before I move on to Pokemon Yellow. Just that way there's a bit of variety as well. But I cannot get started on this until I get the 3DS capture card because of the way I want to do things. Not only do I want, not only do I need to have that for Generation 4 through 7, um, I also want to play the Virtual Console versions of uh, Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Crystal. So, I'm, I need a 3DS for that. Uh, but that's also 20 additional dollars. So that's already $109, $190 right there. Um, <laughs> and that's just, like, getting started. Um, I don't have a copy of Pokemon Stadium 2, so that's going to be another $45 for a copy of that. Um... I think the last thing I wanted to pick up was just like a fun thing to go alongside this. Uh, my local game shop has a Pokemon mystery box of sorts. Uh, that would be kind of fun to pick up and open up on stream or for like for the channel. Probably on stream, let's be honest, or upload it to YouTube as well. Um, but like in total, that comes out to about $300, which is the target goal uh, for this series of streams that I'll be doing on the 15th through the 21st of this month. Uh, yeah, of March. Um, so what am I doing for those, stream for those streams? Well, simply, I'll be playing, uh, Pokemon Fire Red. Uh, but not just any playthrough of Pokemon Fire Red, uh-uh. I'll be doing what is known as an Iron Mon Challenge. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with Iron Mon, um, I highly suggest checking out, uh, videos or streams of people doing Iron Mon Challenges. Uh, you can probably find, uh, maybe a handful of them on Twitch. Um... There are probably videos on it by now. I'd be surprised if there's not. It's been out for like, it's been a thing for like a month, I think. And it's kind of like really cool. So I'll be doing an Iron Man challenge. It's not quite, it's similar to Nuzlocke, but not quite. Uh, I'm not going to go into the drawings of it. Uh, I might include a base, a base bin for it. Cause there's information on that too. In the description down below. So let's see, what am I including in the description? I'm including um, a link to the Pokemon Generations Challenge, as well as the rule set for the Iron Man Challenge, uh, the things are going to be a little bit tweaked um, for my challenge, because uh, admittedly, I don't like too much of a challenge. Otherwise, I just get bored. Um, so I'll probably just link, like, link a paste bin of like what my challenge is going to be for this series of streams. But there are also going to be like incentives for people to tip. Um, I'll probably have that in the paste bin as well, so you can see what sort of incentives I have in mind and the price for the incentives. Um, it's not going to be super expensive to, um, influence the gameplay, but, like, even if no one tips, like, this still works out for, like, a series of streams. Um, so, either, like, either way, it's a win. Like, if no one tips, hey, I did a series of streams where I'm playing through Pokemon Fire Red with a bit of a challenge to it. If people tip and I reach my goal, cool, I can get started with the thing I want to do for streams for several years because uh i have more in mind aside from just the generation challenge i have a lot of things i want to do with pokemon in general uh on stream um shiny hunts uh more chi more sorts of like challenges uh throughout pokemon games just like a bunch of content that i want to do um and that's like all the stuff that's like immediately like 
and in the more immediate future for like Twitch for my Twitch streams. Um, and as for the last band we talked about, um, uh, just really quick, that just kind of like influence has an impact on streams. Um, so as I mentioned, I currently do not have a job. The closest thing I have to a job is again Twitch, and even then, that's not paying out too much, like too fr like frequent enough and a big enough paycheck for me to like reliably count on that as a, a source of income. Um, it's more sort of stuff I can save up for like additional things later on. Um, so I'm gonna be looking for a job that might that's there's a decent chance that's gonna impact streams, and when I do find a job, because I am gonna need a job for the other things I wanna do. Um. Like that's gonna take up more time than I what I have currently free, which is most of the time to be honest. Um, so I'm gonna be looking for a job, hopefully in the live streaming sphere, because that's where I've spent a lot of my life, like literally about a third of my life doing at this point. Uh, coming up this May, I have been streaming on Twitch, not consistently, but m for eight years. I started my first Twitch stream uh, May 11th in 2013. So that's my stream anniversary, and that means come May 11th, eight years of streaming. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I know a lot about I know a lot about live streaming. I'm hopefully gonna get a job in the live streaming sphere to start earning some money, and that's probably going to impact uh, streams. It's probably gonna change scheduling a little bit. If it does, so be it. Um, but that's like. One thing, another like big life thing that I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on moving soon. Um, I am turning 25 this year and I still live with my parents, but that's not inherently a bad thing because you know, 25, no job, um, well, no reliable job, I should say. Um, but I want to move, I want to move. I'm planning on moving uh, up north. Uh, I'm not gonna say where specifically yet, um, not until I get things. Sorry. And I'm not going to mention the city at all, uh, but I'm definitely moving up north. I live in the south. I currently live in Georgia, um, so it's going to be a big move for me. It's going to be about a 15-hour drive. Um, so like, it's literally like the opposite side of the country like, in terms of like verticality on the map. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a big change right there, and that's definitely going to take like a couple of weeks to move in general and to get things all situated um, and I wouldn't be surprised if I start a, a typical on stream uh, trying to raise money so I can buy furniture for my uh, new apartments that I'll be getting new apartment house depends on which, which is cheaper um, so yeah uh, just as a recap a recap of everything I talked about uh, my buddy Laura is doing a stream on uh, this Friday March 5th um, information for that uh, probably include like links or something in the description down below or you can just go back to certain timestamps that you'll see uh, with the information. Uh, I'm doing a series of streams this uh, on March 15th through the 21st. Uh, it's seven streams. It's a stream a day for a week raising money so I can buy uh, various uh, stuff so I can get started on the next things I want to do for stream. And I have a lot of stuff planned for streaming for like that's going to be like solid content for se several years to be honest. Uh, Pokemon stuff, like an emphasis on Pokemon, but also not just Pokemon. Um, I'm working on getting a job, so there's a good chance that um, live streaming schedules are, are going to change a little bit. And I'm planning on moving. That's kind of a big thing. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see my journey through all this big stuff that's coming up for me, um, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm going to try and tweet about different things, not just like pictures of stuff. Uh, but also, like, actually tweet. Um, you can follow my Twitch streams. I typically talk about stuff every Friday for sure. But like, every, like, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, guaranteed. Um, I'll stream Thursdays and Sundays if I've got something I want to play on stream. Um, Tuesdays, I do Beer Frontier. Uh, Fridays, I do Just Chatting. So, like, something kind of like this, but more interactive, where you can talk with me instead of me talking to you. Um... So check that out. A link to my Twitch channel is in the description down below, as well as my uh, Twitter account. Uh, follow those. Uh, if you came here expecting Brave Frontier news, um, I got a Brave Frontier channel. I guess I'll put that in the description down below. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's about it. Um, so thank you guys for checking this video out. Um, like this if you want. I don't know if 
Uh, you're excited? Leave a like. There we go. There's incentive to like, to like. If you're excited for what I have planned, leave a like. Um, I'm not going to ask you to show this video. There's, there's no point in showing this video if you're not interested in what I'm doing. So, I don't know. Um, subscribe if you want to see more content on the channel. I'm, I plan on releasing more content. There gonna be, there are definitely going to be three videos coming up relatively soon. So I can like, as like portfolio videos. So check that out. Uh, I'm planning on doing more content that's not Grave Grave Frontier related on this channel. So yeah, subscribe. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I've rambled on long enough. So take it easy and uh, thank you once again for watching. See ya.